forest fires are blazing across British Columbia. About 180 individual fires. There have been forest fires in Alberta and Saskatchewan too. It's natural this time of year is forest fire season. During the summertime, things get dry and then lightning strikes are responsible for many of them. Others from campfires that campers don't put out. Of course, there's a risk to life. These are huge fires that burn quickly. There's also a risk to property. Many homes have been devoured. But there's something that environmentalists say they care about, which is the smoke and the carbon dioxide emissions. See, forests, like most life on Earth, is carbon-based. And when you burn a tree, besides the smoke, you get carbon dioxide released. Now, we don't know how big these forest fires have been this year, but it would not be surprising if the amount of CO2 emitted was 30 megatons, 30 million tons. Now, of course, that's not as important as the risk to life or property. But to environmentalists, this is a tragedy. I mean, the entire oil sands combined only emit about 45 megatons, and a few weeks worth of forest fires is 30 megatons. Well, what should we do? Ban forests? No, we should realize that forest fires are as old as forests themselves, and that lightning has got nothing to do with global warming. The fact that human beings claim that we create and manipulate climate is nothing more than solipsistic hubris. And by that I mean people thinking that we are greater than nature. These 180 BC forest fires show us in a terrifying way that we're not. For the Rebel.media, I'm Ezra Levant.